You get a $5 billion bounty placed on you for 48 hours. If you survive you get the money. Everyone on earth knows about the bounty. How do you survive? Post by an underscore expert underscore boy. Hang with my grandma cause she ain't no snitch. Suddenly you feel a bit drowsy after eating those cookies. Go to a showing of cats. You just need to hide for two days. There's no need for self-torture. Go into a random elderly person's house while they aren't home and stuff myself inside of the kitchen cabinet. Good luck. The first place I check when any problem arises is my snack cupboard. I get dressed up, do my hair, bit of makeup and go to my local pub. No one has ever noticed me there. I'm safe. Go to the Winchester and wait for this whole thing to blow over. Throw on a hoodie and my most scuffed up work boots. Step outside, find a quiet side street in midtown Manhattan, and pretend to be a homeless dude sleeping. This would actually work out of all of these. Also very creative. I like it. For 5 billion someone's going to start murdering homeless people on off chance it might be you. Kill myself so I can keep the money. Problem solved. Big brain. This is what I call a pro gamer move. Put myself through the baggage sorting machine at the airport. That's a foolproof way to get lost if I've ever heard one. Dig straight down and place a dirt block over me and wait. Don't forget to shift to hide your nameplate. Five billion? Really? Why do Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos and or Carlos Slim hate me? It was crowdsourced. Assuming I get time to prepare? I'll just rent a boat, turn my transponder off, and head out to open ocean for a few days and work on my tan. I'd go to my son's home. If he wants to get the bounty, he can have it. Damn. But also why not just wait and split your reward with him? I'll go to my son's house as well. No one wants to visit that loser anyways. Definitely stay put, in mom's basement. No one even knows there is the basement. No one wants to know either. I would go to Ikea. Yeah but it's only 48 hours. You would be lost for way longer. Assuming it is infinite? I would go to the grocery store it's been 12 years and they still haven't found my dad. Real talk there was a guy who got stuck behind one of those giant coolers at the grocery store and died and he wasn't found until like a decade later. Putting a lamp on my head and standing still. A lamp, or the lamp shade. Yes. Bruh this really be GTA Online back in 2013. That's how I got the idea. Dye my hair, colored contacts, spray tan, adjust my posture and gait fake tattoos and a Hispanic accent. Donde esta la biblioteca. Don't forget to shave and start cross-dressing. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Tape fully charged cell phone onto nearest semi-trailer truck, go survive for two days in the national forest that I am familiar with only what I have on me at the time. You can go two days without food. I live in Chicago so I'd probably get clapped before I even had time to formulate a plan. With or without the bounty depending on neighborhood. I'll let my family kill me so that they get it. I have a doppelganger in my city. I find this person, drug them, and dump them in my house to be found. It will be much easier to hide out when everyone thinks someone already got me. Apparently it's an extremely close match. My last boss, who I'd worked for for five years at that point, passed this person on the street and wondered why I ignored him and when I started smoking. I can do ya better. I have multiple doppelgangers. One was close enough to have my wife asking me later where I got that car. Another, I saw in a picture taken by a girl I was interested in. My first thought when I saw the picture was, weird, I don't remember owning that shirt, so there's gonna be a lot of dead people who look a lot like me. Freight hop across the USA with food and water for two days. 
No one actually looking for someone ever check those trains especially if that someone is not known for railroading, rail fanning or freight hopping. Besides when you do see a train it is usually moving at speeds you cannot look into every car's nook and cranny anyways. Hunker down in one of those cylindrical hopper cars crawl spaces and no one will even know you are there. 1. Cut off my finger. 2. Cauterize the wound. 3. Place my severed digit in my car. 4. Blow up my car. 5. Retrieve the proof that I am dead. 6. Don a disguise possibly consisting only of a bushy mustache. 7. Duct tape some cut up pieces of carrot together. 8. Attach this odd assemblage to my hand where my finger used to be. 9. Put on some gloves. 10. Present the severed, charred finger to whoever has the five billion dollars. 11. Include footage of my car exploding. 12. Claim my money. 13. Bribe a stranger to keep me hidden for a few days. 14. Pay for a cutting edge prosthetic finger. 15. Buy a new car. 16. Realize that I could have just bribed a stranger at the onset, having pointed out to them that a guarantee of a billion dollars is far better than the unlikely prospect of somehow claiming a five billion dollar bounty before anyone else does. 17. Invest my remaining money into inventing a time machine. 18. Fail to invent a time machine. 19. Go on with life exactly as I had before this whole debacle took place. 20. Use my prosthetic finger to perform mildly amusing party tricks. You have never really thought this scenario through, have you? Impressive. Okay Peter Pettigrew. I can't tell you. Everyone here is out to get me. My best friend and I would agree to split the money. I would Anne Frank in her basement. Do you know how Anne Frank ended? When people ask me if I am me I simply say, no. That's how I do it. I'm a nondescript white guy. How many people are going to die for looking vaguely like me? Fake Groucho nose and glasses. I've never seen this man in my life. Nice try CIA I'm onto your recruiting gimmicks. I've got this. I break into Tiffany's at midnight. Do I go for the vault? No, I go for the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the cops come and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. 30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the chief of police. This is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stashed the chandelier. Find a old closed down gas station in the middle of Nevada. Get there by bike. Hide in the restroom. Put an aged out of order sign on the door. Bring bike in. Lock door from inside. Take an air mattress and the Harry Potter books and yummy non-perishable food and drinks. Plus a burner phone, sleeping bag, warm clothes etc. This is my winter plan. Not sure about summer. Lol I live in Idaho. Good luck finding me. I will dig a hole six feet deep and three feet wide. I will hide in it for two days. This hole will be located in the Siberian wilderness. The Jake Peralta method of asking people on the streets if they're interested in saving the environment. Boom. No one pays attention to me. Hide at my birthday party. No one would ever go there. Hide in a place with a gun. If someone finds me I shoot myself. If I don't get the money, neither do they. Or you shoot them and you still have a chance to get the money and they can't. And extend the 48-hour bounty to lifetime. I will hide inside an air mattress. I will suffocate you with an air mattress. Easy. One simple line. If you kill me you're gay. Then I will only have to deal with mods. 
Book myself a suite for 48 hours at the Continental Hotel from John Wick. You are an absolute legend for making it to the end. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. And if you can't get enough, consider subscribing. See you around.